Good morning, good morning, and welcome back once again to our new video learning session. Today, let us learn how to generate service request and how to track the service request which has already been raised by using our Modicare website. So, first, what we have to do is go to Google Chrome and enter Modicare address www.modicare.com Once you enter, you can see the screen then click sign in enter your MCA number and password and the answer here so I have taken one MCA number and I am entering the answer here as 9 and then login so once you log in, you can see this page. So close this. On the extreme left, on the bottom, you can see an icon of headphone. So that is support. So click here and you can see generate SR. Generate new SR. So click this and then you can see this particular screen. The first one is filter type that is order number wise and from date to date wise. So why are these two options? If you know the order number, you can select here or if you do not know the order number, then you can select from date and select the date range. So you may have booked the order on second or on third or maybe on fourth. So you don't know the order number but you can select the date range and then select the order number okay so for a demo purpose i am showing this order number wise and here i am entering the order number yes. q e w 5722b8 so this is the order number okay and on the right hand side you can see request type if you click here, you can see some options. So what all can you raise the service request? These are the options. If you have received a courier but found that there is some shortage, you can select this. If you find there is some damage in the courier, some products are damaged, then you can select this option. If there is some delay in delivery, for example, you have ordered the product, but still you have not received the delivery. You can select this option. And if you find some quality issue, let's say that, you know, some product you purchased and you find some quality challenges, you can select this option. And the next option is report for interchange or excess goods. This is where if you find that you have ordered toothpaste but you have received toothbrush then you can use this option or if you find that uh, you have ordered 10 toothpaste but you have received 11 so this option can be used and order cancellation is for those orders which you feel that you know you have to cancel that order then you have to select this option but always remember all requests related to shortage, damage, quality issues or interchange, excess should be reported within 48 hours. This is very important. Secondly, the order cancellation request can be placed for only for those orders processed in last 12 hours. Orders cannot be cancelled under one of the following conditions. So remember, orders already dispatched from warehouse that cannot be cancelled, orders processed from 25th till month end that also cannot be processed and orders of the previous month also cannot be cancelled. Okay, Now let's see how do I raise a request. So I have selected order number wise, order number I have put it and in request type, I select a report for shortage. 
it means I have received one or two products short and then submit. So once you do this, you can see this details. You can click here, order number. Click here, you can see the details. Now this request is for short quantity. So in this particular order, you will see all the products, what all you have ordered. Now in this, here mentioned is five, the quantity short, four quantity short and one quantity short. For example, let's say out of five quantity, you have received one short. So you have to mention here as one. Then go to packing list number. Now what is this packing list number? When you receive the courier, you can find one packing list. This is how it looks. I enlarge it. So this is how the packing list looks like. So this contains all the details of the product. And on the top of the packing list, you can see the packing list number. NLP 130078. Okay, this is an example. I am not showing the exact uh, packing list, but for you to understand what is packing list. Okay, so this is the packing list. And there is one more option which is asked is the POD copy. So what is POD copy? POD copy is those copy which you receive at the time of delivery. So this is given by the transporter and this is how the packing list, sorry, uh, POD list looks like. Uh, there will be mentioning of the vehicle number, the date, number of boxes, the weight and there is an option for signature. It means this goods have been collected by this particular person. So this is the POD copy and this is the POD number. Okay. Now what we have to do now? You have, you have to enter the packing list number. So I am entering packing list number as NL, NLP 130078. Okay. So enter the packing list number, then boxes tape. So you may have received one box. So is the box uh, completely taped? Yes or no? So you can select whatever is the actual reality. Number of boxes received. I have shown you in the POD copy the number of boxes, where to see the number of box. So have you received the boxes intact? You have mentioned yes. Number of boxes received, let's say four. And all boxes received, yes or no? So see the POD copy. If the boxes mentioned is four and you have received only three, then you have to select accordingly. So I have received all the boxes. So I select yes. Now upload the packing list. Choose and select the packing list. Which I have already kept in my desktop and so I have updated the packing list and similar way POD copy. So upload the POD copy. Okay. So once I have entered all the details, any information which you want to share which will be really helpful for the executive to solve your issues. So any information you want to share, you can put it here. In this example, it is the shortage of one product. So you, you can mention, I have, I have received, I have received the products, products of goods, one quantity, Mask is cancelled. Hence, requesting from the same and then submit it. Once you click submit, you can see a request number is generated. 
please note down this request number 2347158 so this number is very much important for you to track what is the status Now, if you want to track your SR, which you have raised now, you can see here 2347158 and you can click here to see the status. Okay, All the details which I mentioned and maybe after one day you can check, you know, what is the status of this particular service request. Okay. Now, similar way you can start raising the SR for all the complaints which you receive. I have shown you how to raise the complaint for shortage, similar way for damage, delay in delivery, quality issues, interchange, order cancellation. So all this can be. Okay. So as far as possible, try to provide all the informations so that our executive can close the service request at the earliest. Okay. So this is how you have to raise and this is the method of tracking the service request. I hope the information shared was useful. So we will again come back with a new video, a new learning session. Until then, thank you, take care and bye-bye.